Welcome to the first episode of the coding series. Today, we are going to cover the concept of the packaging and packaging. What is that packaging? Let's assume that we have a burger and there is a person to eat the burger. But this person doesn't have the knowledge of what the object is. Let's assume that this person now decides to eat it anyway. And as soon as he takes the first bite, it tastes like a burger and it looks like a burger. This object must be a burger. Now what is the moral of this story? Well, just as our friend, he requires the knowledge of the object by taste and looks of the object. The same way, Python interpreter requires the knowledge of the type of the object at runtime. Seem confused? Let's head to the editor to see the concept in next. For our example, let us create a function cal. Now, we shall bless our function with the argument A and argument B. Next, we are going to give the power of plus operator to our function. We have to think what our function is going to chew on. I think we should start a good process to our function. Let us start with a delicious pair of two integers for our function. Here the integers are 1 and 2. To make our plate complete, Let's also serve some associated salad of things and what's better than hello and wall. A good dinner isn't complete until we serve dessert. So let us make a combined dessert of an integer and a string. Let us run our program. So as you see, we have three outputs. One is the integer 3, another is a string hello world, and then there is a bunch of strings which represent some error, error statement. So why we get all these three outputs? Let us go one by one. For the output 3, it is the sum of the integer 1 and integer 2 from the first print statement. The Python interpreter knows that we have two integers and the plus operator will add up these two integers and the output is 3. Now for the second print statement, we have two strings, hello and world. Again, the Python interpreter knows that this is a string and the plus operator will concatenate these two strings to make up the statement hello world and to get the second output as hello world. Now, why do we get a bunch of uh, error statements in the third output? That is because in the third print statement, we have an integer and a string. But the Python interpreter cannot understand what it should do with a string and an integer when it has to deal with a plus operator. So hence, it gives un unsupported operand types for plus because Python interpreter cannot actually add up an integer and a string or cannot concatenate an integer and a string.